Hey guys, it's Zach McElwain with the Life Insurance Academy. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to make $1,000 minimum each day selling life insurance. Now, the first thing I wanna let you guys know that it is possible, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a brand new agent or an experienced agent. It doesn't matter if you have no training at all or very minimal training, or you've been trained and you've done this for a while. Um, and it also doesn't matter if you're on a really high comp or a really low comp. The principles I'm gonna walk you through today will really break down on how you can make $1,000 a day minimum selling final expense life insurance. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is why agents currently don't do this. Or if you've been out there, if you're in the field and you may be thinking, well, I'm not selling $1,000 a day or I'm not making $1,000 a day, well, how can I do this? Well, a couple of those main reasons of why agents aren't is number one is they're quitting on themselves. And they're quitting on themselves because maybe they feel like they have a, a goal that is unattainable or maybe because they got sick for a few weeks or they had a family emergency that happened in their family and now they had a goal set up for the quarter or for the year and they feel that it's unattainable so they lose complete focus and they're not able to get back on task to achieve that and they're just kind of going through the motions. The other way people do this is they may not have any goals at all. So if they don't have that daily goal, that weekly goal, that monthly goal set already, then they're gonna struggle when it goes through that. Um, the second reason why agents can't make $1,000 a day is because maybe they don't work full time um, or they don't work a full week. Either one is the same thing. And what I mean by that is you may be struggling at the beginning of the week or have a bad Monday or bad Tuesday or, or nobody's answering the phone or nobody's answering the door and then you start to get down on yourself and you let your emotions kind of take over. Now. You may be struggling that week and you're like, well, I'm just gonna throw it all away and next week will be a good week. Next week I'll be more prepared. This week I've dealt with a lot. And you give yourself a lot of excuses there. You could also quit and not work a full week if you're having a good week. And what I mean by that is some agents are out there uh, really crush it on Monday or crush it on Tuesday and they've already hit really good uh, daily goals or weekly goals and then they feel good about themselves but now they roll out and only work two days that week or they quit on Wednesday, or they don't even work a Thursday at all because they've, they've felt like they've achieved. One thing we know in life insurance, especially in the final expense side, is it's a numbers game. So it's all gonna average out, and it's gonna be important to us to continue to move through that. The other reason why you might not work a full week is because you may feel like you're the one with the flexible job or the flexible opportunity because you run your own business, that you are in charge of you Inc., right? Now that could be from family members, it could be from brothers, it could be from sisters, it could be parents, it could be a spouse, a girlfriend, and all of a sudden any errand that needs to be run around town or anything uh, that needs to be taken care of around the house, all of a sudden you're the most available person to do that. When in fact you need to set those boundaries, you need to set an expectation and a work schedule. So the, I'm gonna walk you through three simple steps that's gonna show you how you can make at least $1,000 a day selling final expense life insurance. And the first one is very simple. It's do the work. Now you may be thinking, well, of course, obviously if we're gonna do the work, <laughs> that's right. But the first thing to do in the work is we have to show up. We have to be there. We have to clock in per se. And when I'm talking about clocking in, my mindset and what worked for me is all about self-discipline. So I created a schedule every single week. It, that schedule is when I went to work. So personally, it could be Monday through Thursday if that's your work schedule. But what time do you start on Monday? Is it 9 a.m. to 9 p.m.? This is my work hours. This is, this is when I go to work. This is when I'm focused in on taking care of families. Then that's what it needs to be each and every single week, right? Monday through Thursday. Maybe it is Monday to Wednesday for you because maybe... You, that's what works based upon your schedule. But whatever schedule you create, you need to decide and you need to understand that this is gonna be my full work devotion, my full focus is going into this work schedule. We cannot base our activity on our emotions. We can't base our activity on having a good week, well, I'm gonna take these next couple of days off. Or I had a bad week, man, this week was terrible. I'm gonna take the rest of these days off and I'm gonna start again next week. We cannot base our schedule on our emotions. We have to base our activity on the schedule. And that's really what's gonna be the first thing of clearing your mindset and getting you in a rhythm, getting you some good of that big mo on your team, big momentum, and get you rolling and making this. The second thing I wanna talk about 
is setting small goals, okay? So setting small goals. Now you notice I didn't say huge goals because we probably already have those. Generally in our business, we are gonna be goal oriented. We're gonna have goals that we're already trying to achieve, whether it's for the year, if it's a production number, if it's an income number, if it's a carrier trip we're trying to go on, if it's a sales leader award we're trying to win within our company, if it's the number one producer, the number one team, we all have these goals. But if we don't break those down and translate what that goal actually means on a daily basis, then before you know it, we could be completely off path and off target. And then again, that leads to why agents don't achieve this is because they feel their goal is unattainable, okay? So what is our daily goal? We have to create that. Personally, my goal every single day was I was guaranteed that I was gonna get an application fully taken care of before I ate lunch. So with me having a schedule, which was number one, do the work, my schedule, I started at 9 a.m. and I finished my day at 9 p.m. That didn't change no matter if it rained, no matter if it snowed, no matter if I worked out of the gym and I'm really sore, no matter what happened, that was the time I clocked in. Just like it would be if I had a corporate job somewhere and I had an expectation where I had to be there at a certain amount of time. We have to hold ourselves accountable in that same very way. So when I'm talking about setting small goals, I had to have an application every day before lunchtime. So that made sure that I was out in the field. If I'm door knocking, I'm out there door knocking early because I want to get at least one or two sits in because if I'm closing half of them, I'm eating lunch by noon. But I also didn't give in on that because when if I didn't get that application, then maybe I'm not eating until two or three. The more hungry you get uh, financially, the more hungry you get um, you know, as your hunger as well. So you really want to achieve that goal. But what happens is you get in that mindset of starting that schedule every single day and you have that driven goal. It's that morning goal. Man, I gotta hit a nap before noon. It tricks your mind into focusing and dialing in on what you need to accomplish, even within one day. So that was the goal I hit every single day. Beyond that, my goal was to have a minimum of a thousand in annualized premium every single day of good business. And I'll explain what that is. In final expense life insurance, there is a monthly premium that the client would pay for a policy. For example, $50 a month. If we extrapolate that across uh, 12 months of the year that the client is gonna pay for that, that's gonna give us an annualized premium of $600, okay? As insurance agents, we get paid, our commission is based upon that annualized premium amount of $600. Um, based upon the monthly premium. So when we look at $1,000 of AP, good business every single day, and what I call good business is, is full day one coverage. Any waiting period coverage, any modified benefits, anything that isn't gonna pay full commissions or has any type of waiting plan um, or doesn't have advances, I'm not going to count that towards my daily goal. Of course, I want to help those families. Of course, I wanna take care of those. And of course, it does build up an ad. In my mind, that is 100% a bonus for me. I want $1,000 of AP and good business every single day. So that leads us to our third point, okay? So we need to set small goals that are achieved every single day, which is going to be getting an application before lunch and then also making sure that I'm hitting my $1,000 minimum every single day. Now, I do want to clarify on that. I'm not hitting 1,000 and going home. It's a minimum every single day. So if I write, two or three or five or 10,000 just in that one day, that doesn't carry over to day three, to day four, to day five. That doesn't let me hit my weekly goal, okay? It doesn't. I know I've accomplished my goal for that day, but guess what? Tomorrow's goal, I'm back at zero and I have to do the same exact thing. It keeps your mind sharp, it keeps it hungry, and it keeps it humble, which is very important. So when we lead to our third point that's gonna help us get $1,000 each day, which is gonna be pretty simple, which is don't give up. Now these seem to be very simple. When you talk about don't give up, my daily goal, and you may be thinking, well, that daily goal is very low, right? That daily goal is very easily attained. Well, that could be, but what if you're struggling a little bit? What if you're a brand new agent? What if you're just new to this industry and you're trying to figure things out? Some reasons, and we know why people don't achieve these goals, is because they feel that goal is unattainable. 
Okay, so if we know we're gonna be self-disciplined, we know we're gonna go to work, we know we're gonna have small goals, we need to make sure we hold ourselves accountable and not give up to make sure that we are actually accomplishing that goal. And the cool thing is, and we look at final expense, the average final expense life insurance policy is $59 a month, which equivalates to $708 in annualized premium, just the average policy. So if you notice, that is literally, you can write one to two, or depending on the family members, you can write multiple policies in one house off one lead. You also don't even need a lead to take care of a family when it comes to final expenses. There's always neighbors, there's always friends, there's always family, we call that warm market that you're able to help. So we need to make sure we're gonna achieve this goal no matter how we have to do it, no matter what we have to do it, and we have to have that refuse to lose attitude with that. So when we know that we have to hit $1,000 in annualized premium of good business each day, and this is what makes this so attainable and keeps you really hungry, is that's only one $84 a month policy. One $84 a month policy or two $42 a month policies. So you could sit with one family or you could sit with one um, single client that's on a lead card and you write them one policy for 84 bucks a month or you can sit with a couple and they both get a very small minimal policy of $42 a month. Either way, the cool thing about that is you're gonna achieve your daily goal but you're also going to make sure that, that both of those scenarios can be accomplished on one lead, on one phone call, on one door knock. And what that does for you mentally is it lets you know no matter what you went through during the day, no matter how many doors got slammed in your face, no matter how many phones hung up on you or said, don't call me, I didn't fill this out, you got the wrong number, no matter what you've went through that day, you can't quit on yourself. You keep going because your daily goal is fully attainable with one knock, with one phone call, with one opportunity. All you have to do is show up and be there so you can't quit. So you cannot allow yourself to not achieve this goal no matter what it's going to take to hit that during the day. So the most important thing here is to know that every single day it's achievable. And this is a minimum. Again, it doesn't carry over till your next day. This is achievable every single day. And when you do that, if you work three days a week, you're at least gonna have a $3,000 a week at least. If you work four or five days a week, you're gonna have a five to $6,000 a week every single week because you're disciplined to your schedule. You're disciplined to yourself and your business. And that's gonna generate consistency. That's gonna generate experience for you. And you're gonna be, hit, be able to hit new levels in your final expense business. If this video was helpful for you, don't worry, we have plenty more coming. Just hit that like button down here below and subscribe. We are gonna be walking through a whole training series gonna be released to you guys very soon that's gonna give you all the tips that you need in every single type of life insurance. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon.